Friday Night Fights. Our 2018 fall opener rolls on. For the introductions to our next fight, let's go to Mr. Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for three rounds of action out of the junior lightweight division. Fighting out of the red corner tonight, representing Estevez Muay Thai with a record of 0-2 from Stamford, Connecticut, Anthony Mineo. And fighting out of the blue corner, he represents Evolution Muay Thai in his debut fight. From New York, New York, Aiden Haddad, the Hezbollah Hammer, Salah. Gentlemen, went over the rules earlier. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Touch gloves, go to your corners. All right, back at the 155 pound weight level for our next bout on Friday Night Fights Muay Thai, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. Ariel Agami with Primo Bella Rosa taking on all the action at the Broad Street Ballroom in New York City. And we are set to go here for three rounds between Anthony Minio out of Estevez Muay Thai in Connecticut. And the man with a tremendous cheering section here tonight, Aiden Haddad Salah, goes by the nickname the Hezbollah Hammer. And he and Minio locked up so far in the early going of round one. Salah was so popular that you could barely hear his announcement at the beginning, at the beginning of, uh, of the show. He is from downtown Manhattan, where we are right now, so you would understand and he has quite a fan following here. Salah comes in with a, it's actually his debut fight, his amateur, his Class B debut. So a big support contingent on hand at the Broad Street Ballroom to check him out against Minio, who has an 0-2 mark. Salah in the black and white trunks, Minio in the blue and red. Minio has done a good job so far of of locking up a solid position in the clinch. Now he needs to take advantage of that and land some knees. Minio has the height advantage. He is five foot 11. Salah goes about five, eight and a half. So far it's been Minio looking to lean on Salah. Not use that advantage. Meanwhile, it's Salah coming forward with the big shots. Crowd going crazy here. He's all over Minio. Aiden Haddad Salah with quite a sequence there. We'll see if Salah can keep up that type of aggression. He's obviously popular, that's driving him on right now. It is his debut fight, and debut fighters typically come out very hot, very hard. We'll see if he can maintain that type of pressure. Now keep in mind, folks, this is a modified rules affair, so no elbows being employed. Also, you see the fighters wearing shin pads here. Final 10 seconds of action here. Salah fighting off Minio with the right hand. He keeps coming forward. Aiden Adad Salah. Nice showing for his first round of action. So the Broad Street Ballroom on fire right now. And let the crowd explain things for you. So another look at some of the action from that first round, and it was the Hezbollah Hammer putting on a show for his cheering section here at the Broad Street Ballroom, Primo. Yeah, pure aggression from Salah. Good shot there on Minio, can cap off a combination. Undeterred by the height disadvantage, and remember, we are just one round in. We're scheduled for three at 155 pounds. Does Salah keep up the pace? as round two gets underway. Straight out of a cannon is Aiden Haddad Salah. Let's see if those two fights that, uh, that Minio has start to pay off now. Salah's basically fighting a street fight. He's running forward, 
throwing some jabs as he charges, hitting a right hand when he gets close. We'll see if, if, if uh, Mineo is, is able to just compose himself and use that clinch once he gets it. Salah now. Locking up Mineo, looking to land some knees, but blocked away by Anthony. And Anthony with the turn and the dump onto the canvas. Nice sequence for Anthony Mineo. Nice turn. Mineo needs to just get that clinch, tuck his head in tight so Salah can't hit him with a right hand, and just fire off some knees. Salah. He, does, he doesn't need to end the fight with the knees. All he needs to do is score points with the knees. As Mineo was coming forward a moment ago, it looked like Salah caught him with an uppercut to the Adams apple almost. Yeah, not a lot of, like I said, uh, Salah is, is relying on just sheer aggression at this point. There's not a lot of aim. There's not a ton of technique. He's just trying to hit hard at every chance he gets. But it's been working for him so far. It absolutely has. More than halfway through the second round here. Nice uppercut from Mineo right there. And he started to figure out that when Salah comes in, his head is down. Another one. Another couple uppercuts from Anthony Mineo. Salah coming right back and tying up the taller man. Minio trying to land some knees. Robert Scott looked like warning Haddad Salah not to use those elbows. And the bell sounds in round number two. Wow, a lot of action here between Salah and Minio. Yeah, so far no stop from Salah. He's He's maintained that just forward, aggressive nature. Well, the second round of, Sada of Salah's Class B career, similar to the first, showing a lot of endurance and a lot of energy here as he walks down Minio throughout the round. There was Minio getting the best with the turn and the dump onto the canvas, and then Minio ended up Finding the home with the uppercut. That was a nice, overhand, no, nice right hand there and those uppercuts you mentioned, Primo. Yeah, he started to figure out that Salah's head is down on, as he charges. So one round to go here. Scheduled for three at 155 pounds. Minio and Salah. Minio on the left side of your screen wearing the blue and red representing SMS Muay Thai in Stamford, Connecticut. Aiden Haddad Salah. Out of Evolution Muay Thai, fights under Brandon Levi in Midtown Manhattan. And Salah himself, a Manhattan native, New York native, just from this neighborhood, Lower Manhattan. And the crowd going absolutely crazy every time Salah throws the leather. Minio trying to muscle Salah up against the ropes. Robert Scott breaks him up. Looked like Salah walked into a left hand there. Uppercut again for Minio. Now, whenever Minio gets some space, he throws that uppercut. It's hitting, but Salah's basically just charging right through it. We'll see if the judges actually recognize that the strike's landing. Under a minute left in this three round battle. At 155 pounds, Salah unloading again. Overhand right for Mineo. Nice right hand from Mineo. That had some effect. And again, Mineo leaning on Salah here. Salah, Salah may be getting a little bit gassed. And Salah muscling his way away from Minio. Now he's got that guillotine hold on. Final 10 seconds of action here. Aiden Haddad that Salah. Uppercut. That rocked Salah. And there is your bell. Aiden Haddad Salah breathing fire here down the stretch of that fight. With Anthony Minio, we go the distance here on Friday Night Fights, and a pretty, pretty impressive debut for Aiden Haddad Salah. Yeah, absolutely. Like, threw a lot of very good punches.
Another look at the action here from round number three, and Salah just relentless, full of energy for a guy in his first fight. Yeah, he never stopped that forward pressure. There was that right hand that Manillo hit. Followed by a really good uppercut. So Minio actually did have some really nice shots in the second and third rounds, but was it enough to kind of sway the judges, especially with that crowd behind Salah? Very hard to see the tide going against him. That's really the question. Minio had the better technique. He landed a lot of good shots. Salia just was powering forward through him. So the real question is, like you said, are the judges swayed by the crowd a little bit? Are the judges swayed by the forward aggression of Salah? to the point where they didn't see the strikes landing. Well, let's find out what the judges think. For our official particulars, we go to Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen. And in three rounds of action, we do have a winner by unanimous decision. Judges A, B, and C all see this fight 28-29. In favor of Anthony Mineo. So Primo, not exactly the way we saw it, but it's actually Anthony Maneo getting the best of the home crowd and Aiden Adat Salah with a close, unanimous decision win. Yeah, I, I think the judges got it right, to be honest with you. They they rewarded the, the techno striker that was landing more shots. He was landing clean shots the entire time. Well, nevertheless, a strong showing for Aiden Adat Salah in his class. A is Class B debut, but it's Anthony Maneo picking up his first ever victory. You are watching Friday Night Fights.